A few days ago, I published my second review of a Lolano laptop cooler. I tested it out. It was very effective. I found that the laptop, I found that they make very good stuff. I've also found that people in general online like their products. When they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review this then, I of course said yes because they make very good stuff, it seems. This here is a laptop HDMI switcher, four in one. Oh, this is 8K, holy smokes. Uh, so I do have a 4K screen over here. It doesn't do 8K, but it does do 4K high refresh rate. So I'm assuming that's gonna be fine. Typically 8K means it does 8K 60 or 4K 120 is usually what you're gonna get out of it. So we'll see what we can do here. That's really nice. Uh, I do have a laptop here that has full function USB-C. It's a framework laptop, USB 4, so we're gonna have no problems there. So inside we get, what the heck is this thing? Oh, this is the controller. Uh, so you can switch to the one, two, three, four different devices. Very good, has a battery tag, we'll do that after. And then we get the uh, connector for power. So it doesn't come with a charger, I have a charger. Um, doesn't come with the actual brick itself, probably keep costs down because so many people have them. They probably realize that, you know, charging an extra 20 bucks or something for a charger increases their cost, which then also increases the consumer's cost. So I don't mind that actually, to be honest. I would be annoyed if this was a power delivery type device, to be honest, but uh, you can see there, you get, that's a Thunderbolt sign, but technically I believe it's just USB 4. This is for optical. Right, they actually don't have any device to test that, unfortunately. So I can't test the optical, but it does have it, which is neat. Uh, and then we have headphones as well. We can test that out. And then we have all of our options here. So output's going to go to my screen, which I'm just going to, might as well just plug in right now while we're at it. All right. Shaboom. Look at that. Okay, so that's that there. Now what we're gonna need to do is get more devices because what we're testing here is a laptop, a device switcher. So you're gonna have uh, one display with possibly multiple devices. So rather than having to unplug stuff, you know, if I have a laptop, a desktop, other devices, you know, you can plug them in here and you can just switch through them rather than having to mess around with your screen here and going in the back and trying to d switch up with the coming here. And go, okay, well. Oh, there's a screen on. You got to come in here and you got to go through all these here, especially if they're all active. You know, it's not going to automatically switch them. So that's a huge pain in the ass, to be honest. So this here is a good option because you're going to be able to just have one sc the screen hooked up to one uh, little guy here, and then all of your devices can go into that. So let's plug some various devices in here. Okay, so let's test it out now. I'm just going to use the buttons here before I try this over here. So right now we are running oh, so many things here off of that there, which is what are we at here? That's two yeah that's two going to there uh we'll just switch that up here to i guess three which should be this here very good number three we have to change the settings in that uh number four right now is not plugged in so we're going to go back to number one so that won't do anything there it might auto be like there's nothing here let's see no it's going to allow me to switch there i guess in case i plug something in very good We'll come back here to one, which is back to my desktop computer. Very good, desktop computer. So that's really good there. It obviously works very effectively. Basically, if you're just switching through your devices here, you know, if I'm testing multiple things, I always have my desktop plugged in all the time, even if I'm not using it. Sometimes I do in during a test, especially if I'm doing screen recording. So it is nice to have a laptop switcher like that there plugged into my desktop computer here. Then I can also have a laptop that I'm working on my primary laptop, which is off camera, that I'm working on all the time, and then laptops that I'm testing like this here and this here that I'm working on tests for. It's actually really, really nice. I'm actually gonna get, I need one more cable. I'm gonna get one more. Now, what I'm gonna do is leaving this one empty here. I'm curious if I take this out, because it does have an auto mode. So if I take this out here, okay, we're running on one right now. If I plug this into number three, is it going to automatically switch over to that and be like something new was plugged in? Let's see. Yeah, so the auto function also works really good too. That's also very useful for me because if I'm on my desktop over here, you know, just working on a review or something and I just test out a laptop, I need to plug it in, I wanna test in 4K, I literally just take the cable, plug it into the laptop, boom, it's gonna auto switch over. Very useful for me. This thing's sweet so far. Um, again, it's a niche product for certain types of people, but this is like, this is like bread and butter for me. This thing's gonna be excellent for me. Energize life. I know. Okay, I'm assuming that this thing will just work. That's not a button. Those aren't buttons. Okay, so we'll go to one. Oh wait, we're already on one. Let's go to two. I don't remember which two is. This one maybe? 
Which one's two? Oh, that's two. So that's two over there. Uh, okay, very good. Three is blank right now. Four is gonna go back to this one here. Four is over here. Very good. Go back to one, which is the desktop. Very good. And just for the fun part of it, we'll go back to two. One more time, which is the Legion over here. Ba -ba -ba -bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. Cool. So, uh, I mean, it's not that complicated to test this. I don't really need to ramble on more about it. It works exactly as anticipated. You plug in the different devices there and they switch through. What I do want to do here now, however, is test the actual uh, capabilities of the device in terms of what kind of display we're getting out of it. So let's go to back to my desktop. So this is my desktop here. Let's make this the main display just so it's not gonna be a pain. Very good. And now what we're going to do is check the resolution. So we're gonna get 4K, obviously, 4K screen here. So 100, so we're at 4K. Let's go, I think 120 Hertz would be equivalent to 4K, to 8K, I think. So it's going to do uh, 144 hertz is what my screen can do, but it's not going to do that. It'll pull too much through the display. So it can do 8K 60, right? Or 4K 120. And right now we're at 4K 120. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, I don't really care that I'm losing 27 hertz or whatever from DisplayPort. If I wanted that, I could go to DisplayPort. 120 is fine. 4K 120 is pretty, uh, I mean, that's pretty high end for monitors these days. So that's fantastic. The fact that now we can switch through and do that is awesome. So uh, let's do a little summary here. I don't need to do any more testing. What do I think of this guy here? It's, it's perfect. It's a perfect product. I've said this before in reviews. If something is advertised to do something and it does it exactly as it should and it's filling a niche, then it's a perfect product. Meaning this is a perfect product. You get one, two, three, four HDMI ports. You can swap between them with the button here or the little controller there. And it turns out that it works exactly as anticipated, so perfect device. So great job by Lenano here. This thing is outstanding. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. And I kind of think if you're looking for an HDMI switcher, you should buy it because these things can get mega expensive and this one is not mega expensive.